expecting people to learn about sex from pornography is like expecting people to learn how to drive from Fast and the Furious movies, right? It's just not what we want. Uh, how, we don't want to teach people that way. I grew up with immigrant Filipino parents to the United States uh, and growing up we were Catholic and very traditionally Filipino in how I was raised and that meant that the only thing that my parents told me about sex was not to have it until I was married. Um, it also really filled me with a lot of shame around desiring pleasure and sex and just made it so that I couldn't talk about it with anyone. And so that's why I created O School so that more people could talk about these things. Growing up, that's, there, there, there was Planned Parenthood, Pornhub, maybe Cosmopolitan up there, and nothing in between. And I thought, what could be in the middle of that? Like, there has to be something else that's not porn, health education, or articles about, you know, how to blow his mind tonight. There's got to be more than that. we can offer better education if we just have a wide array of people talking about sex. And that's why we have Eva Sweeney who, you know, has cerebral palsy and is in a wheelchair. That's why we have, you know, trans instructors who, you know, what does sex feel like when you don't, when, when you have issues with body, um, you know, with your body, for example, like these are, these are things that we, you uniquely will only understand if you have that lived experience. And we believe that that is important with sex education. Our platform is anonymous and you can use a pseudonym if you sign in in chat. So you don't have to tell us who you really are. It's not like Facebook where it's connected to who you really are. And we think that that freedom is really important because some people are talking about some freaky stuff that they don't want the world to know. And we're like, that's okay, you come talk about it in O school. Mm -hmm.